Hi, yeah, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this flip card. I haven't made one for absolutely ages. Went to film it before, but um, I kind of messed it up, so I deleted it. Practiced again, I think I've got it. So you're going to have to excuse me if I make mistakes. So to make this card, I'm using a, a card base of Magenta Madness, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of Blushing Bride, we'll sit on the inside. This is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. That will all sit on the inside like that. Also have, and I might have to recut this to fit. This is three inches by three and a quarter. Yeah, three by three and a quarter. And this is two and seven eighths by three and one eighth. That is to sit on top. I also have part of a square. I cut out a three and a half inch square just so I can get this um, scalloped edge to go underneath the flap. So that's what I've done and I should just cut this to fit. And I also have a scrap of white and a scrap of blushing bride for the sentiment. So I don't need them for now. Right, stamp sets I'm using. Poppy, painted poppies, and I'm going to be using the small poppy and the two leaves. Very versatile, and that is for the leaves that I've stamped on the outside and the inside. Prism Beauty, and just the script bit to go on the front. And Timeless Tropical, just for the sentiment, may your birthday be memorable. Four stamp sets. This, I'm afraid, is the only one that's been retired. The rest are all current. Sorry about that. There is a printed one here, but whenever I stamp this, I can never get it straight. So that's why I'm using this one. Right, to get started, we're going to cut our base. It's a good place to start. So, with our trimmer, yep, nope, that way, we're going to put this in at five inches. Don't need that one. And I'm going to have to stand up. And I'm going to have to put you out. Just so you can see. Right. And we're going to bring the cutting blade down to five eighths of an inch. And we're going to bring it down to three and a quarter inch. So that's there. So push it in and bring it down to three and a quarter inch. Lift it up. Turn it portrait style and we're going to place it at three and a quarter and we're going to put the blade at five eighths and we're going to bring that down to our cut line. Like that. Hopefully. And we'll get rid of that. Bring you back down. I'll do. Right. To flip this over, what you want to do, you want to get your thumbnail and you just want to just tease it over like that. 
and get it as straight as you can. See if that's straight. That looks straight to you. I think it's straight. Right. Let's see if my squares fit. fit quite nicely yes that would do nice like that right then what we're going to do is flip this back over and we're going to stamp on this part and to do that we need this stamp from Very Versailles, a scrap of paper, and Magenta Madness. Ooh, you can tell that's new, it's stiff. We just ink it up and we're just going to stamp it all over I don't want it on the other side. Just like that. And we're also going to stamp this on the top corner of the white piece. Just a little bit like that there. Put that to one side. Get my cleaning cloth out. Put this to one. Close this up. And clean the stump. Right, get rid of that for now. Now with our corner, I am going to cut this keep that bit. Good bit of scrap that. And we're going to fit this under here. So what we need to do is my to the side as a triangle. We can trim it down afterwards. Right, I need to take some more off of this. Side down. Oops. And you cut it the wrong way. All 
Right. Trim that off so it would go under. There is an easier way of doing this, I'm sure. Like that. So we want it on that side, stupid girl. Right now, we're going to glue that on. Hope I made that easy. I feel like I made a mess of it. You don't have to use this kind of edging. You could use any edging you want. Over. There we are. And then you pop a, just a dot of glue on there and glue it down. Oh no. Right, what I'll do is I'll glue this because that is all I'm doing on the inside. It's just them leaves. Put this on the brushing bride. Now I'll put them close together. I don't know if I like these colours together. I suppose they do will look all right. Right. And now we're going to put this and that needs to be a bit smaller. Or even a bit bigger. Um, now I'm going to make that do like that. No, not because I won't be happy with it. So I am going to go and cut another pink bit, blushing bride, to fit in there, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Right, I've now cut a new piece. I don't need them. This is three and one eighths by three and one eighths, and this is three by three. So my blushing bride is three and one eighths by three and one eighth, and my white is three by three, and that looks a lot better, I think. So now we're going to stamp on this bit, and we're going to stamp our poppies. And we're going to stamp one like that, 
there and then we're going to cover it with a mask and we're going to stamp one down there and we're going to cover that with a mask Right, now we want our leaves, so we've got our stem of leaves and we're going to put that on that corner, like that, and that on that corner. And then our single leaf, we're going to give one there. And one there. That's all we need that for. Right, I'm going to bring the crumb cake in and the scrap of paper again. Because we're going to do the script, but I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on, stamp off, stamp on, doesn't matter if this goes over the leaves because by the time you colour them in you can't see it. That's all I want that for. Get rid of that. Take off our masks. And then we have our, I'm going to keep these, so I'll just pop them inside the stamp set. Right, we're going to colour them in, and all I'm using is a pink, I'm going to say a pink, it has got Blush and Bride re in it, and Old Olive. You've still got um well, what's it called? Pink pirouette. Dark pink pirouette that one was at one time. I didn't have the re-inker for the pirouette pirouette, so I um used blushing bride and it's going really good. She says that and you watch it run out while I'm doing my card. So all I'm doing is just colouring them in. So once you colour them in, you can't see the um, script. Hope you're all keeping safe. I got my release papers the other day. My letter from the government to say I can go out to play on the 1st of August. Got the hairdresser booked. Get my hair cut. 
look like a geriatric hippie at the moment. Just as well this isn't face to face. Frighten you all away. Right. Poppies. Oh, they're not poppies today. These are just flowers today. Don't think I've ever seen pink poppies. This pen isn't going to last much longer because the nib's gone. And stamping up do not have um, another pale pink apart from petal pink but I think that's an orange pink I'm not to go over the edge. Right, we do need black, basic black. Just to dot. So all I'm doing is just dotting in this black bit lots of dots and that is the colouring done just put them away while I can this will be glued on there and on there so pop this on the blushing bride There. there we are. And now for the sentiment. I was going to use, here it is, and I'm going to stamp it in black. to be memorable. Bring in my mini trimmer, shut that up, and I'm going to cut this down. Is 
because I don't need it that big. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. Can cut that with the scissors. So we'll. this brush and bride down there we are and that will sit just there and that is also going to be just glued flat That is our card for today. Hope you like it. I'm not sure if I do. I'm not sure if I like the Blushing Bride, uh, the Magenta Madness together. Hmm. We'll see. It might grow on me. And there's the blue one I did. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.